Well, we're back at Medibank here, a familiar venue for Josh Kerr, world champion. Josh, a couple of weeks on from Budapest, how does it feel at the moment? It's lovely to be back in Meadowbank. It's lovely to see all the new facilities and knowing that you know we have Edinburgh AC has a home again. Uh, it's been a long four and a half years for for everyone at the club, so it's fantastic to be here and to know that we're going to have an event with all the, you know all the Edinburgh kids and and trying to inspire and bridge that gap between you know a world championship and you know club running and just making sure everyone's enjoying the sport and getting everything out that they can. The really fascinating bit for all as was immediately in the immediate aftermath of the race you mentioned this 16 year journey and i thought it was absolutely spot on and fascinating and in a scottish athletics sort of perspective we start thinking about east cross country relays and, and mini marathon selections for london and so on how important do you think that pathway has been for your journey it's funny because even when you're saying Scottish Athletics overall, I did my internship in school with Scottish Athletics. I was following them around, and so they had been a massive part in my in my career. And obviously, I started this at eight years old, and you know I was able to start making teams. I think around under thirteen, but it was never a smooth ride. There was always ups and downs, and you know body developing in different stages as everyone, and you know it having the support from Edinburgh and from Scottish, Scottish Athletics that was that was where I stayed in the sport and that's the hard part is staying in when things get tough so yeah I can't can't thank uh, can't thank those two things uh, more than what I can just because overall if you don't stay in the sport you're not going to have the success and you know everyone goes through a little bit in the sport because it's hard it's hard work the training is hard sometimes the weather not, might not be great so it's uh, just staying stay in the path and that was kind of my big goal through the, through the years. So Tell us a little bit about the bond with the club. You know, I think people like been thinking of people like Dave Campbell, Eric Fisher, coaches. A very formative years for you. But how important are the club in that in that sphere? Yeah, I was I was speaking about this earlier. You know, every couple of weeks we'd be going away with Edinburgh, and we'd be going to Young Athletes League, and we'd be doing all these different races all around the UK. And so this was a big family feel for for me. And you know, my parents sending me off on a on a coach and driving down to London with a mini marathon, and and uh, yeah, it was just part of that culture, that part of that family feel where. I was really enjoying my running, but also getting surrounded by like-minded people, like-minded athletes and, and the right coaching. So, yeah, being back here and, and having my old coaches here is just a real circle round moment where I feel very privileged to be in the position I am. And, and uh, it was kind of down to everyone in the room. We know you celebrated with pizza and with champagne uh, a couple of weeks ago. I imagine it's important to enjoy the moment and savour the moment. But I also suspect that it will be eyes down for the Olympics pretty soon or or maybe it started already you know wh where are you at now yeah you know i had that uh, enjoyable night with with everyone and you know jake whiteman came out and he really came out and you know we really 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 celebrated knowing that scottish athletics really moved in the right direction in the last couple of years in the 1500 and like, long will that continue so yeah no uh, heads down now it was just kind of that one night where i you know enjoyed it and, and tried to soak it in with the people that helped me get there so that was my biggest plan for that day but again i've been planning the olympics ever since i crossed that finish line and we imagine, I'm sure, that Ingebrit, Jacob Ingebrigtsen will be will be gunning for gold in Paris, and we expect that Jake Workman will be back sort of fit as well. But, but I guess the, the sort of beauty of Global 1500 at the moment is there's an awful lot of guys that you have to beat to win it. I mean, I, I was talking to your parents there and saying there were 58 guys entered the heats in Budapest, and an awful lot of them will have believed they had a chance. Is that the way you see it? You know, just the, the challenge could come from anywhere? Yeah, the challenge can come from anywhere, but if anything, I'm competing against myself and myself of this year. You know, I'm going to try and replicate as much as possible, but also I did some things wrong in my build-up prep. You know, I, I made some mistakes in my prep. So, you know, for me, it's what can I do to get better every year? And, you know, that's nothing to do with any other athlete because I can't affect what they're doing. So I can affect what I'm doing on a daily basis, and all I'm going to try and do is, is be better than I was a year previous, which is no different than any of the 16 years of development in this sport. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thanks, George.